The judge said she accepted the woman's evidence in its entirety, and that evidence, evidence was extremely disturbing, and a warning it will be detailed in this next report. Let's bring in Emily Taylor, who has been following all of the fallout today for Hogard, and joins us live. Emily, what's next for the Headley frontman? Nicole, earlier today, the frontman of Headley asked a judge to delay his time behind bars until after his appeal can be heard. In a bail hearing that ended just hours ago today, the judge said he needed more time, actually, and Hogarth will be spending time behind bars until that decision is made. In delivering her sentence in a downtown Toronto courtroom this morning, Ontario Superior Court Justice Jillian Roberts said Hogarth's offenses involved gratuitous degradation, and gratuitous violence. The judge accepted the woman's evidence in its entirety. Back in June, the woman testified she was raped multiple times and went into great detail describing the brutal attack. Not only did she endure the sexual assault, Hogarth did so while making demeaning sounds and shaming her. Today, the judge told the courtroom whatever fleeting moments of gratification Mr. Hogarth derived from his conduct, they have come at the staggering and utterly unacceptable cost of forever changing the woman's life. Farah Khan is a professor at Toronto Metropolitan University and the manager of Consent Comes First. My first reaction when I heard that he had been sentenced to five years was gratitude to the survivors who came forward and reported the sexual violence he perpetuated against them. Not just the two that were part of this trial, but so many others. We know that sexual violence perpetration by people in positions of power is so hard to report for fear that no one will believe you. Jeffrey Manishin is a criminal lawyer. He says Hogarth is unlikely to serve the full five-year sentence behind bars. Our law in Canada provides that it's really only, only in rare cases where somebody represents an ongoing danger to society to the point where the, you can't, the correctional authorities feel they can't release them, parole authorities. Uh, and until the end of their full sentence that somebody does the full amount. He'd be eligible for release on parole after a third of his sentence. He would be released um, after two thirds of the sentence. But he says five years is a significant sentence for someone who doesn't have a criminal record. For someone uh, where it's a first jail sentence, the judge would normally consider what's the lowest amount of custody that I can impose. On the other hand, an offense such as this one, as I've read about the fact, is a very serious example of a sexual assault. And so a five-year penitentiary sentence is a significant one. The judge also said she did not accept the defense that Hogarth is at low risk to reoffend. After the sentencing, the lawyer for the Crown told the media, Mr. Hogarth's conviction and sentence sends a message to our community that sexual violence will not be tolerated by our community, by anyone. One can't help but wonder when you have a case that gets this amount of publicity, it gives the judge an opportunity to say, look, this can really send a message out to society as a whole that we won't tolerate sexual offenders, particularly those who are involved in violent episodes. Farah Khan also adding that she's not surprised to see the wave of allegations against musicians in recent months and says this has been a long time coming. We need a conversation in the music industry that speaks to the fact that we cannot prioritize money and power over the safety of young women. And that we have a music industry that encourages artists to have these kind of relationships with women, but these aren't relationships, this is sexual assault and it needs to be challenged and we need to hold people to account, not turn a blind eye. She says the sentencing is a step forward for survivors but a lot of work needs to be done to get rid of rape culture in the music industry. What is the expectation when people know this is happening within the industry? How are you talking to the person who's doing it? Hogarth has also been charged with sexual assault causing bodily harm in an unrelated incident back in 2016 in Kirkland Lake, Ontario. He has denied these allegations that he plans to plead guilty. He was in court for that last week and will be again at the end of the month. He has also been acquitted from charges of again sexual assault causing bodily harm as well as sexual interference with a teenage fan. Nicole?